Monday the 21st of November, 2022. First reading. Reading from the Book of Apocalypse. In my vision I, John, saw Mount Zion, and standing on it a lamb who had with him a hundred and forty-four thousand people, all with his name and his father's name written on their foreheads. I heard a sound coming out of the sky like the sound of the ocean or the roar of thunder. It seemed to be the sound of harpists playing their harps. There in front of the throne they were singing a new hymn in the presence of the four animals and the elders, a hymn that could only be learnt by the hundred and forty-four thousand who had been redeemed from the world. They follow the Lamb wherever he goes. They have been redeemed from amongst men to be the first fruits for God and for the Lamb. They never allow the lie to pass their lips and no fault can be found in them. Responsorial Psalms Such are the men who seek your faith, O Lord. The, the Lord's is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is he who set it on the seas, on the waters he made it firm. Such are the men who seek your faith, O Lord. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord, who shall stand in his holy place. The man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things. Such are the men who seek your faith, O Lord. He shall receive blessings from the Lord, and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him, seek the face of the God of Jacob. Such are the men who seek your faith, O Lord. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia! Alleluia! Even if you have to die, says the Lord, keep faithful, and I will give you the crown of life. Alleluia. Gospel. Reading from the book of Luke. As Jesus looked up, he saw rich people putting their offerings into the treasury. Then he happened to notice a poverty-stricken widow putting in two small coins, and he said, I tell you truly, this poor widow has put in more than any of them, for these have all contributed money they had over but she from the little she had has put in all she had to live on. Gospel of the Lord.